Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lions Dan with another news and commentary. You know, China is going through some crazy stuff, right? You know, with the coronavirus happening that started in China, that spread all around the world. Well, now China is evicting Africans in their country. That's right. They evicted Africans out of their apartments. They kicked some majority of Africans out of the hotels. So they've been sleeping in the streets. What you're about to see, ladies and gentlemen, is what's really happening right now in China. And, you know, we have to think about us as black people that in reality, we have no friends. We don't have any friends. And it proves it all around the world that's been discriminated against. Now, the African, some countries like Kenya, um, Nigeria, um, Ghana, all the countries that I just named are now requesting their African brothers and sisters to come back home. Unfortunately, they can't even do that. Their passports has been taken away. And because the airports are closed. So they don't so really the Africans that are in China right now don't have a place to stay. They sleep in the streets and they treat them like dogs. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this news clip on the situation and I'm gonna continue the rest of my commentary. Huddled on cobbled streets with layers of clothing to generate heat under the cold skies of Wanzhou City. This is the new way of life for Africans living in China. The very color of their skin now means trouble, screaming of sickness to natives who bear a different skin tone from them. Africans have become subjects of racial profiling. Chinese nationals blame them for the rising number of new coronavirus cases in the country. They didn't want me to enter the subway. I had even bought my ticket that was for yuan. And by the time I was going to, to the subway, they stopped me. And then they told me that... Uh, no foreigner is allowed. And I was like, why? This is a subway. They are saying, then they say that that is the rule. Then who am I to argue with the locals? I complied. According to the Chinese Health Authority, 63 new coronavirus cases were reported in mainland China, with 61 of them described as imported cases. Brenda, not her real name, has been living in China since 2017. Earlier this week, she was kicked out of her home without any explanation. And just like any other person in a foreign country, the embassy is usually the next resort. For her, it was the Kenyan embassy. I didn't have a place to go. I had to sleep outside. Yes, I did sleep outside. The next day they came, I tried calling them. Some of they were not actually responding to my call. What they told me, go to the police. I did that. After staying at the police station for a maximum of three good hours, they told me that we are sorry, we cannot help. She reached a dead end after two days of sleeping outside the embassy, a situation that many like her from other African nations have found themselves in. This video shows Chinese police officers escorting people of African descent from a place they had set apart for themselves. I know of two pregnant ladies. One is eight months pregnant. The other is six months pregnant. They cannot access hospital. Patricia, also not her real name, was lucky to have escaped the eyes of Chinese nationals who came knocking in her house earlier today. Our conversation on phone revealing just how scary everything is. So the women, they have come. They have come. It will be the fourth day today that foreigners, especially blacks, are denied access to services in the city. No, I don't have food. I don't know what to do. And I can't just go to the street. I don't want to sleep outside. No, it's either I choose to have somewhere to sleep or I choose food. Our calls and even texts to Kenya's ambassador to China, Sarah Serem, regarding the racial discrimination against Kenyan nationals have gone unanswered. These notices in Chinese, which translate to, this community is not accepting foreigners, especially black people. If you've rented a house to a black person, quickly get in touch and let them leave, have been the source of all evictions. And we are three. Are Brenda got lucky. She is housed by a Zimbabwean national in this small space where they're living with one more person. She might be lucky, but a majority are not. They hope that the Kenyan government will come to their rescue before things get worse.
Rock Only Guy, Citizen TV. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. So, China, the Chinese government is saying that they're blaming Africans for the coronavirus. Now, you're going to blame African people that had nothing to do with this for COVID-19, which, by the way, started in Wuhan, China. But then all of a sudden, you want to kick all the Africans, what if they're um, Nigerians, Kenyans, um, South Africans, um, Ghanaians, you're going to kick all of them out because of, of the color of their skin. And they can't go back home. They couldn't go back home because their passports been taken away from them. The airports in China, in mainland China, are closed because of the coronavirus from the beginning. Now, this video um, was hidden viral. In Africa, I mean, some African countries already is considering, you know, kicking the Chinese people out because of this. Um... It's, it's really sad that you see African people in the streets sleeping. And one African um, one African diplomat confronted one of the Chinese, Chinese government, who worked for the Chinese government, and the Chinese guy who worked for the Chinese government was laughing at him, thinking it was a joke. See, this is why we as black people will say we don't have any friends. Like John Henry Clark always says, we don't have any friends. Even in, even in around the world, we don't have any friends. But now, with this backlash from, you know, from some African countries because of this, they may consider to, some, and even in South Africa, they are already not welcoming Chinese nationals in their country. And I think other countries in, in the continent of Africa is going to follow suit because they felt like, you know, you 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 I mean, you treat the their African brothers and sisters bad, so now we're going to do the same thing to y'all. Y'all not welcome. Y'all not welcome here. Now a lot of people are going to say, well, you know, all the decades that Africa is welcoming Chinese people in their country, and all of a sudden now. You got everything now. You, you see what's happening in China when it comes to African brothers and sisters over there. And I know some of y'all are gonna say, "Well, why are they over there in the first place?" Well, the thing of it is, is that they may ha they may go to school over there. They 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 may have they may know people in China. You never know. But the point is, is that they're treating African people badly. They sleep in the street. They treat them like they're dogs. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's obvious that the Chinese government, I don't think, will not allow, even here in America, they will not, the mainstream media here will not show you this, this incident. They will not do that. They won't. But with that being said, I think now, I think Africans have to make a choice. Either continue allowing China, Chinese people over, over your country or do what China did to, to, to your people. Kick them out. Y'all let me know what you think about this. Like, click, subscribe. And remember to click the notification bell for all the news and commentary. With that being said, this is Lions Inside and Off. Deuces.